What's up, my loves and fellow creatives? I am not going to be here long today <clears throat> because this is actually going to be a super, super quick demonstration. Most of you are already familiar with 125. So I wanted to offer you an upgrade. Basically, <clears throat> excuse me, anyone that already has 125, whether it's in your four to eight unlocking courses or you purchased 125, um, you're going to get this upgrade just because I feel like you all should know what the new level of the templates that we're doing at Innate Academy feel like, even if you kind of dropped off a little bit. Okay. So um, I want to show you how we're going to be able to automatically create PNGs of our Oliver shirt of our stole and the t-shirt, but also of the elements that are going to help us build inside of the automizer. So uh, from here on out, all of our templates will be like this that we're doing on Wednesdays. So it'll be super simple to get into the groove. But I just wanted to show you what, what your old template can do. So old dogs can learn new tricks in Innate Academy. All right. So um, if you stick to the end, I will also offer you the opportunity. If you do not have a template number 125, I will offer you the opportunity that Coach Chrissy got way, way, way back in the day. Um, and this is one of her favorite stories to tell how one template, 125, uh, she got on a flash sale for $10 and she was able to do 30K in Etsy sales in just under 60 days of her first time ever even putting out a project like this. So I want y'all to know that you have you have coaches, you have uh, folks in the mix who are creatives, but also business folk and want to show you how to have that success as well. So stay tuned. And I'll, if y'all remind me, because sometimes I forget because I got to log off and teach two classes today, uh, which I'm excited to teach. Uh, we're teaching the um, the grad page today. So we're going to do a hands on walkthrough with the grad page and a hands on walkthrough with the automizer. So this refresher is going to come right on time, especially for this automizer as well. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, typically this uh, template, you all probably flip time and time again. There are a couple of changes here. I definitely want you to go into your logo. Go ahead and change that out. And here I'm going to change it to this orange and navy blue. And I'm going to go ahead and hit yes to save the changes. Now, of course, you will be going file place embedded to place a fresh new logo there. So I just want to have you all aware of that. Now, color number one and color number two, I'm going to just pick here from the logo. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit doing control plus grab my eyedropper tool here. Grab the orange because I'm going to make the orange the primary color and then the blue the secondary color because it has the same blue. So I'm just going to leave the blue there. All right. So I'll go ahead and click on color number one. And here I am going to duplicate a layer here and it pops up on my other screen here, y'all. I'll turn on the eyeball there and then all I'm going to do is hit the orange swatch. It'll turn orange. I can close out, hit yes to save the changes. And that will change it on my master file. Now, I will tell you, <clears throat> if you don't do all overs, but you do banners and backdrops, still keep uh, still keep the large image um, on your master because you'll need that in order to export the elements to create the large format designs. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I got on here fresh working with y'all this morning. I hadn't even talked this morning because I was just working for y'all. <laughs> so a good morning. All right. So let me go ahead and change out. Also, you can change out your photo here. Um, I'm actually going to keep this photo the same because I put the AI character in there for you. But I will show you in order to change out the photo. You can double click on the photo. And then what I'm going to do to reverse it back to the red, I'm going to put our red uh, design here. And this is an actual scene for 2021, y'all. That's how old 125 is. So if anybody lied to y'all and tell y'all that I got 125 from them, please just laugh it off and be like, you know what? We got time for this today. Let's make some money. Anyhow. All right. So that's you will go to file, place in, uh, place embedded, change out your photo. All right. Now, the other features that I want to show you this one is, yes, you can change out 
uh, your colors. You can change out the um, the black fade off down here. I just keep it because most of mine are going to fade off the black. But if you want to change that one, you can come here to the stole. It has I'm going to keep this on for y'all. It has the sample colors here. If you want to go into this one, you can change it. However, I suggest that you keep it black so you can just keep it rolling. Um, if you want to change it to another color, then we'll go here to that smart color. And what it is, it is a smart color, but it's pretty much just a gradient. So you can change it to whatever color you want. And in this case, what I can do is turn on any color here. I'm going to delete that layer mask and I'm just going to clip this down so that basically whatever color you put in here, let's say it's going to be, I don't want it to be the orange because the orange is already there. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and pick the blue and then that way I can show you what it, what it does if it goes back to blue. Okay, so I'll just choose the blue here. And now instead of black, you'll have it fading from blue at the bottom, but imagine you can do white, gray, um, I think there's some gray in the logo, so gray may, might have went uh, well as well. But how I like to teach you is to be able to do what you got to do from the basics. All right, now this one is, let me check my blend mode here. Mm -mm -mm. That's my top. Oh, this one is not connected to that one. So this one we would have to color separately. But the way that you color that separately, go ahead and put your smart color here. And then we'll clip it to this. And this will already be done for you. So see how that's clipped down to the bottom now? So you don't have to fade it to black. Um, I'll go ahead and put that change in there for you all. And that basically faded it to blue, which I actually like that better. So I'll go ahead and put that edit in there. Let me save. Let me do the save dance for y'all. All right. So that was pretty much the template flip. You can change the color of the splashes if you want to. Um, so you can go to the splashes. Let me click on one. OK. And with those, you have a color overlay that's on them right now, which is white. But you can also take that smart color, let's say your blue or your orange. And let me delete this layer mask. Make sure I made a copy. Sometimes I think I'm holding out all and making a copy and I'm not and I messed myself up. All right. So I'm going to put this on top of the paint splatter and then I'm going to go ahead and create a clipping mask. So if you wanted your uh, paint splatter to be the color, you can. I just think it looks nice with the white because it adds a little contrast. But depending on what <clears throat> what colors you put in the background, you can recolor this here. Uh, let's go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I need to drink my water. I hope I'm not getting sick, y'all. All right, this pollen has been getting crazy. It's springtime. All right, so uh, with that said, I think this is pretty much everything that we need to export. And before, what we were having to do was go to photo number one and right click quick export as PNG. Then we'll have to go to the text here. Then we would have to right click and quick export as PNG. Then we would go to the stole elements and right click and quick export as PNG. Y'all get the whole gist there. What I want to show you now with the way that the template is set up, and I even showed you all on last class that we did together, class number 266, I showed you how to set this up for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to fish. I'm going to sell you the fish. I'm going to fry the fish, boil it, uh, whatever y'all need. Okay. All right, so here are the three designs. Now you would have to um, go in and do some minor tweaking for your photos, depending on how they came in and whether they need to be resized for your stole or your 13 by 19. But the beautiful thing is, let's go ahead and turn this one off where it says turn off for printing. Let's go ahead and turn that one off because we don't need the guides now. All right, here's the magic, okay? The magic is you go up to file and we're gonna go to generate and we're gonna generate image assets. Wherever this file is saved, so I'm going to go to my 125 folder. It is going to generate a folder for me that's going to be called my 125 Master 2 Assets. If I go into that folder, it is generating all the PNGs for me. Okay, I want y'all to hear me out here. This is all the stuff that you're going to need for your Automizer anyway. OK, or your mockups, even if you don't have the Automizer yet and you're still using standard mockups, you're going to need these images for your mockups. All right. And then the beautiful thing 
it's going to take a little time for it to actually display the images for you. But the beautiful thing is all of these elements are the same elements that go inside of the Altomiza. So when you get ready to change these different elements out, you're changing those elements out with things that are very, very easily extracted from your template design. All right. So I want to um, want to see. I think that's done. That's everything is done. I'm going to refresh the folder, see if it'll show you all the PNGs now and make it full screen so y'all can see. There it is. These are all of the elements now. There you are. You got them broken down. And then you also have them uh, where you have the um, you have the individual pieces and I even had somewhere it's all merged together for you all. Most important is probably going to be your foreground and your background. Um, as long as you have foreground background, you're going to be able to make pretty much 80% of anything you need to design. Um, what I'm going to do here, the class of and the first name, let me open it up and see if, if it doesn't have that white stroke on it. I'm going to put it on there. I don't see it because when I pull it in and this is how I can show you too. See how this has the first name here. And then my stole text, I have this, um, this white effect on this layer. So I'm going to take this effect. I'm going to copy that layer style. Then I'm going to clear it. And then I'm going to put it on the individual layer, paste layer style. And I want y'all to see something. I want y'all to see something. As I'm working on this, I need to turn off my image asset generation because it will slow your computer down. So turn it off. And then once you are done making your edits, I want you to turn it back on and I'm going to show you the, the sauce there. All right. So on the first name layer, now I already have the first name on the other side, but I'm just going to group this one here. And then I'm going to paste the layer style. I'm going to call this one first name vertical. So I'll have it in vertical as well. My logo here. The logo, this particular one has an outline already set on it. So that's perfect. I'm going to come over here where it says first name. Same thing here. I'm going to take the layer effect from here. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to clear it. So it's not on any of this stuff. And I want to put this layer effect on each of these individual pieces so that it will come through on my export. That looks good. First name, paste layer style to that folder. Looks good. All right. So now when I go and I go file, generate my image assets, it may take a little second. I'm going to go back to that folder, y'all. And my whole point, remember I said I wanted to see that white outline on here. Now that's popping up. It's got my drop shadow on it. So then when I use these individual elements, they will already have the white outline on them. So they will pop off anywhere that I put them on the background. All right. So that's it. That's the play I wanted you all to see. Um, here is what I'm going to suggest that you do to save these assets. This is a dynamic folder meaning that it changes based on the file changing. So as soon as I have everything that I need, I'm going to take everything from the top to the very last file. Go ahead and let it finish generating. And then I'm going to copy that. I'll make a folder. <clears throat> and in this case, I'm going to make a folder on my desktop just because uh, this is where I typically tell you how to work when you're in your class mode. So I'm going to go new folder. And I'm going to name this one zero export. I'm going to put the template number 125. And then if uh, this particular school, I'm going to put graduation because this is a graduation design. And then they were the Knights and orange and Navy. And I won't put the word and orange Navy. And then if I know her name, uh, let's say her name is uh, Priscilla. OK, so I'll put Priscilla and maybe her last name, um, even order number. If you have her order number, you can put that in the file. So then that way you can always file, find this again. And, you know, hey, in order to produce Priscilla's order number and their order not, number might be two, five, eight, four, six, nine. 
Okay. So that's her order number on Shopify. I have her name. I have her school and the colors. And I have that this is a graduation design. I also have that this is template number 125. So I'm really, I'm teaching you how to help organize your files. Okay. So in this file, this is going to be my export files. I'm going to paste here. And basically, I've captured everything that I need from that template. So now when I go back and I edit this template, because I'm going to go back and bring it to the red mode, right? So once I do that, it's going to change the files that are in that folder. Again, if I'm going to flip it, I'm going to go to generate, turn off image assets. Okay. And then I do my flip. So here, I'm going to flip back to the other logo. Of course, you do file, place embedded if you're placing a new logo. So you go file and place embedded and just place your new logo there. I'm going to hit yes to save these changes here. All right. And then I'm going into my color one. I'm going to go ahead and change that back to my red here. Make sure all your other eyeballs are off just in case it's causing additional uh, file size and drag. So just make sure it's not visible. All right, so we are pretty much there. Everything changed back red and blue. I'm not changing out my character here, but now what I can do is go to File, Generate, Image Assets, go back to my folder now. You see how it's changing there? Now it changed to the red and the blue. OK, so then what I would do with that once it's completely uh, created all of these exports, um, I need to looks like I need to put that on my 2024 stack. Let me see. Do I have it on my 2024 stack? Do, do, do. I want to see what my layer effects are here. Yeah, I do have the white on my stack, so that's good. It should generate that. Oh, this is just the 2024 by itself. I need my full 2024 stack. So I think there may be the one that says 125 class of 2024. That's what I'm looking for. There it is. It just hasn't generated yet. Perfect. So I have this one if I need it just by itself, but this is the one that I am going to use on the stole. So that's why it has the stroke around it. If I want to, I can independent, independently put a stroke on this as I'm placing it in whatever objects I want to use. But for now, this is going to be able to create your banners, your backdrops, your you, your water, water bottle labels. Uh, if you want to do the Libby cups and tumblers and ship bags, all of that stuff for your parties. Now you're going to have your 125 template able to break down, go straight into that automizer and be ready to go. All right. So that's it for my demo today. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed this 125 template. Is there anyone in the audience right now that does not have 125? You do not have 125. If you do not have 125, let me know. If you get an error, you can click on the error file. See, I don't have an error file, but if you get an error file, more than likely, the number one error is that you have something already saved as that name. OK, if you already have it, Daryl, you're just going to go back to where you originally downloaded your 125 and I'm going to have the 125 master file there. So you do not you, know, you do not have to worry about it. I'm going to replace it for you all. OK. So if you do not have it and you want it, normally the templates are $40. I have it right now for $10 because I wanted to honor how what price Coach Chrissy got it at. So if you do not have the template and, and y'all share this, like tell people like, hey, this is the template that changed a lot of lives in graduation season. Um, it is now $10. What I'm going to do, I'm teaching class all day today until 10 o'clock at night, pretty much. So I'm teaching at a class at two o'clock and then I'm teaching a class at seven o'clock with Coach Dez. So what I'm going to do is I am <clears throat> I'm not going to turn off the deal until I'm done with class. So if you tell folks they pretty much have until 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes. Um, no, I don't. I don't control the 125 file. It'll just be the 125 file. Now, everybody that has the academy that has been in the academy long enough to unlock 125, you have it unlocked. OK.
<laughs> Daryl says, I won't say what I paid two years ago. Right, Daryl. I want to give everybody like this graduation season. I want to see everybody win. So listen, I'm going to even show y'all me changing this on Shopify right now. So I was trying to do it in the background. Y'all know I don't do stuff while I'm talking. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to change my. I actually have mine set up as a page, my one on one page. Y'all get to see what kind of deals and steals are on there. Oh, shoot. I forgot to change the price of the automizer. So I will be doing that today before I start class. Um, the automizer is still on sale for four hundred dollars, apparently uh, because I got tired last night and I forgot to change it. So um, what I'm going to do on here is go ahead and set you up with a featured product. I'm going to come down here all the way to the bottom. I'm going to add a section. Y'all can do the same thing on your Shopify pages. Add a featured product. This is a landing page. And this featured product, I have to hit select product. I'm going to choose my 125 template. I already changed the price for y'all to $10. Okay. So you'll have to hit select. Otherwise, it doesn't lock in. All right. And then if I want to change like the background color here, I can make it a gradient. Like that right there. I can also, yeah, I don't like that. Not like it. I can change the angle, though. I might like to change the angle. Let me change it to 45. Yeah, I like that better. And then actually, let me do, let me try negative 45. Let me see if it lets me do a negative. Okay. All right. I did not, not know it was going to let me do that. All right. So I'm learning stuff too. All right. So that's my little gradient there. Um, background. You can also choose a, a solid color. And if you already set up your, your colors for your brand, notice my brand colors are in here. So I can choose a solid color as well. All right. Um, let's see. I can change it to left or right if I want the photo to be left or right. And I feel like I need to change the text to be white instead of black. So I'm going to change my text color here to white. That way it stands out a little bit more. All right. And then I'm going to hit save. But I'm also going to go ahead and drag this to the top up here. So I'm going to take my featured product, grab these little six dots and drag it on up to the top. And if y'all need help with your Shopify, we are having a live class today, set up the grad page. And then we have a Shopify challenge coming up in about seven days. It starts on the 13th. So we're going to, if you have never set up a Shopify store before, we will help you. And if you have your Shopify store set up, we are also going to be adding new products. We're going to do the party. Where is it? I'll show y'all. We're going to be doing the party challenge. So we will be uh, uploading products that have to do with the celebration of graduation, not just the graduate products themselves. So we're talking banners, backdrops, party favors um, and so much more. Y'all, we're going to get into it during the challenge. I can't give it all away before the challenge because we have a lot, a lot, a lot of copycats. And I'd rather y'all just trust me and know that when y'all come into this challenge, we're going to do what it do. We're going to put in the work and you're going to grow your business. Okay. So right now the old challenge, the one that we just did, and it's still hella helpful y'all. I don't know if you all have been checking on this, but um, this particular challenge, we set up a whole grad page a landing page for your graduate products. Then we set up a smart grad page, which was for you to go ahead and and have and basically host a graduate and then get that, use that to get leads to your website. On top of that, we did, um, let me click on this one. So we did these uh, banners. If you got gold, you got a whole host, like you got all of these templates. You got an email already written out for you, 12 emails for the month. You got social media already written out for you for, for 30 days. You got a marketing kit with that. So even if you didn't do the, the challenge, please consider getting that for $97 right now. You get the replay for free. But really what you're buying is you're buying those gold bonuses that have the gold automizer in there. It has the uh, the templates and banners that we use to set up. And it tells you exactly how to set up your grad page and how to set up your smart grad page. So if you miss that, you have an opportunity to rebuy it. And then if you're ready for another challenge, OK, I know some of y'all are ready for another challenge. Y'all told me I want to do a challenge every single month. This is to invest in and grow your business. So instead of just paying somebody, you know, maybe uh, 400, 500 dollars to <clears throat> update a few products in your website, what you're doing is you're learning how to put products on your website, 
edit the descriptions, design your pages, as well as learning how to market. So for $297, I don't think there's another resource out there that's going to get you where we can get you in five days. Okay. Daryl says, I have a special connection with my 125. My little cousin is the model. Oh, that's your little cousin, Daryl. Okay. Awesome. So if that's the case, um, Daryl, that is so cool. You got to show us like, because that was what, 2021? Show us what your little cousin is up to now. <laughs> I'm excited to hear about it. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out because I have to prepare for class today. But did I, did I save this page, y'all? Because I was talking. Let me make sure. Let me save this page. I brought it up there to the top for y'all, didn't I? 125 is right there for $10. Y'all let folks know that 125 is $10 for my coaches. Please let folks know that 125 is $10. And then also you have some beautiful opportunities here because I'm not changing these prices right now. I'm going to leave this automizer where it is right now because I'm going to go back tonight and change all of the prices. Um, so the automizer will go back up to $800 and this template will go back up to $40 at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. All right. Um, do, 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 do. Let me uh, also show you. Yeah. So the same thing here. I would take all those pieces, copy them, and I would make a folder for her. So let me make a folder desktop. Now, like I said, don't keep these things on your desktop like I'm doing here to because I'm, I'm giving you all examples of things. So I like to have a few examples already on my board for you. So this is export 125. Now she is this is graduation. These are eagles. And this is uh, red is the primary color, red and navy. And this one is still technically Priscilla. And then maybe her order number is 458751. All right. All right. So we go inside of that folder, paste her images, because once we change this template, it's going to change those dynamic files. And I just like to peek and check and make sure everything is good. Make sure I don't have an error file when I bring these over and I don't have an error file. I have all the elements that I'm going to need to flip this out. Now, I did inside of the automizer. I showed you all how to flip 125. So <clears throat> you're going to have the master file. You have that video of me showing you how to flip that into the automizer. And then basically you'll have a 125 version of the automizer. So right now I'm teaching you all how to do everything that I do. And I know that y'all are keeping up. I know you are having fun, but I really want to see your wins. I want you to share them with us on the It Ain't Academy Facebook group, okay? All right, so Amy, it's going to be updated wherever you have 125, okay? I am going to do it right now because literally I just did the demo. I'm going to place this file on there and then I got to go, y'all, so I can give y'all this file and so I can get ready for class today. All right. So I will see many, many, many of you in our grad page session today at two o'clock. And then I will see many, many more of you tonight for the Automizer in Action live session. That's going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you have questions about the Automizer, you need some hands on help, especially uh, the Automizer 2.0, you're automatically going to get the Platinum Automizer in class for free. OK, but we're going to go through all the steps as far as downloading it, clearing your uh, preferences on Photoshop, setting your preferences on Photoshop, enabling your action, installing your action. And then you have to do some tweaking to your action for your specific computer. We're going to run the whole play of the automizer, tell you about how you save your files and the structure and everything. And then we're also at the end going to go ahead and create the PNG elements that you need, just like we did right here. OK, so if you're ready to do that, go ahead and make sure that you sign up for that class tonight because it starts at seven. And for those of you all who are doing the grad page with me, um, I'm ready to work. We're going to be ready at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you've never, ever, ever had a Shopify store, just make sure you show up at 1:30 so I can go ahead and get you set up before we get into designing your grad page. All right. I'm excited for tonight too, y'all. <laughs> all right. So for those of you who all have uh, been with us from the beginning, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I was supposed to sell the master file, but um, what I decided to do instead is um, give back because you all have 
helped to grow this community to what it is today. So I'm just going to replace it. So for any anyone who did uh, purchase the 125, I have y'all in on a list and I have a special bonus for you all because I know some of you already paid the $10 for it on my birthday. And y'all are like, oh, well, you can just keep it for your birthday gift. I got something for y'all because y'all know on my birthday, I give the gifts. I don't really receive them. I love to give the gifts on my birthday. So I have something very special for you all as well. All right. Um, Sonia, it is a little bit different um, as far as how we're doing the uh, the files. And um, some people, uh, I think if you did the first automizer in action, we didn't have an action at the time that did the automatic PNGs. So now we have an action that does the automatic PNGs. Like I just showed you just now, it, there's a feature that does it with an action. It's right here. So we have an automizer action for the vault, an automizer action for the platinum. And then what happens is after you design your whole automizer, you just sit back, you hit automizer to PNG and you go get you a little snack or something to drink and it will automatically populate. And I'll show you an example of what it did last night. I'm glad y'all are asking me this because sometimes I don't know what it is that y'all know and what you're missing. Um, let me see here. I'll take you to what we did. Example of the automizer last night. Do 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 on my desktop. And I actually did the vault. And I just want you to see um, in the whole PNG folder, which is what we create, um, this took everything that was on that artboard. And I can show you the artboard as well, but everything that was on, on the artboard, including my elements. So now I have a preserved version of all my elements in the correct size and everything. And then I have all of my mock-ups. So each one of these, if I wanted to sell a balloon installation, which I'm not, um, but I could put that up as a Shopify product. This one right here, um, let me not see the details. I just want to see, let me see, do, 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 do. preview pane. That's what I want to see. Okay. So if I want to sell that banner, that banner image is ready to go on my Shopify store. So no longer do we have to right click on something and quick export as PNG or go to file, save as and go to uh, uh, quick export as PNG. We're literally automatically creating these with our new automation. OK. Um, uh, today's class, I think we already did a pro we already did a pro class, so this one does not include pro. But if you all want to jump in on that one, you can. Um, you will just have to pay to be in the class. But you know what? Um, I'll tell you what, from uh, my new pro members, I'll put you in there because we I actually I demoed this last session, um, the automatic PNG automizer. And um, I was just showing it off to see like if I could get it to work on other people's computers because I was beta testing it. So let's do this. Uh, Rob Strong, I'm going to go ahead and put you in there because I want you to test it out. See if it works now for you because we were just beta testing it last time. I want to see if um, if you've got that um, on there. Since you're pro, you can basically take it again for me. OK, because I know you'll be spending another three hours with me, but you already know how to do the first part. This is going to be the very last part. And if you can hang on, I want to see you do that. OK. All right. All right. So the difference in the automizers, if you go to the page for on the one on one page. Oh, y'all, I didn't share the page with y'all. Why y'all didn't tell me I didn't share the page? Hold on. Let me give you all this page. I'm over here designing the page in front of you. So you can go to this page right here. I'm going to share the link. It's also scrolling across the screen so I can see why y'all didn't ask for it. Um, but if you go to that one, it will tell you, let me go to it right now. It'll tell you on here the different, um, the different products that come with each one. So you'll see what comes with the bronze, silver, and gold. That's what you received um, in the challenge based on your participation in the challenge. All right. And we'll have a different one this challenge because now it's going to be party based. Um, the platinum tells you everything that comes with it. Um, that's what you get when you actually come to the Automizer in Action class. So you get much more products and you get that for free just for coming to the Automizer in Action class. And then the goal is, OK, you got 24 products. Do you want to open up this vault? I think you might because the vault has all of these products plus all of this. So the vault has 70 products 
And I feel like that's going to get you well set off for not just graduation season, but also has memorial items in there, birthday, party items, travel items, back to school items, um, et cetera. So all of these are showing you what's inside of the vaults. OK. OK. All right. All right. Yes. And the replay will be available. Once we do the replay, it will be available to everybody who did the automizer in action in general before, because basically every time I do an update, I want to show you all what those updates are. And I already put it in the pre-recorded video. So I already showed you all how we're going to go through and install the action, all of that. I made fresh videos. I spent a whole day making videos just for you all. Okay. All right, so I've got to go, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and update this 125 master for you all and get ready for 2 p.m. class so we can do this grab page and 7 p.m. class so we can get into this automizer. So forever and ever, I appreciate you. I love you dearly. And until next time, bye.